when we finally got logged in, it's kind of like a stumble your way through experience. Kimberly Jackson says the first days of virtual academy have been tough on her kids. Well, my second grader, she's just taking the punches. My third grader is very stressed out and tears every day and just <sighs> so that's the hardest part. Today, Wednesday is the first day we've had stuff in every Thing. Right now, 7,515 students are enrolled in two virtual academies through Guilford County. School leaders are still finalizing the teacher hiring process, but expect students to be assigned a teacher by the end of the week. It sort of seems like we are building the plane after we're already in the air. Kind of thing. Lana Kleberg is working through pre recorded lessons with her sixth grade granddaughter. She still doesn't have a set schedule, and according to the district, they might not have one until September 1st. But hopefully, when they make changes, when they update date, you know, links, there's been a lot of broken links for things, you know, or canvas crashing or whatever. When they update those things, those should go out immediately like in some consolidated dissemination form. Both families say they want their students staying virtual. They just wish there would have been more accessible information before the year began. Yeah, they definitely should have said the same preparations that I did as a parent. I was expected to be organized and ready to have my kid in school, and they should have been ready for my kids to be in school.